you read it, you read it very, very slowly, pronouncing each and every letter in the word. Really open your mouth and get it around, okay? Your folks will think you completely lost your mind. <laughs> But it's very effective over time to learn how to do that. The other one is to, to, to talk with a cork in your mouth. That's another one to keep the, I've never described that because it didn't really work for me very well. But, that, but, but the, the whole point is to get your mouth moving and really open. Another thing, most of us talk with a very flat mouth, very horizontal mouth. And that's fine when we're talking in here. But if you want to do accents and you want to change your voice and the way in which you say things, you need to speak with a very round mouth. Round mouth sets you up to do accents and dialects. Because you have to be able to place them, this is another place of issue. You need to be able to place words in different parts of your mouth to give you some different effects. For instance, um, America, if, if I want to speak, if I want to be from England, uh, English from England is spoken very forward in the mouth. It's very forward. Everything you notice is, is uh, uh, that won't do at all. I mean, they, they really push it all very in the front of the mouth. American English is spoken right in the middle. Australian is spoken in the back. So you, and that's just by moving the, the word, where you form the word forward and back, that's how you do that. It takes a lot of practice. I was in Australia three months, that's how I learned how to do that accent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I studied it, I studied it. Until I could fool, and until I could fool a local, I didn't try to use it. <laughs> so you need to learn how to do that. 